That's the burnt wire right there was in that box. I just happened to smell it. Couldn't even see it. I just smelt it. What's up, my YouTube family? This is G Fabre with Cool G TV, Cool G Z. Mr. Cool G Z. Com in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, offering HVAC information, and HVAC advice, and um, hopefully information that's going to help you in your HVAC career. And um, in this video, I want to talk about your senses, S E N S E S, not your common sense, even though that comes into play too. But your senses. I want to show y'all something when I get back on the on the job site. But when I say your senses. In this HVAC field, you gotta use your ears, you gotta use your nose, you gotta use your uh, sense of smell, and also your eyes, and also your like, feeling things. Um, just left a call, and um, AC unit wasn't working, and when I walked up to the unit, you know, uh, I wasn't getting any power at my at my um, cooling contactor. At the contact, there was no power there, but I smelled something. So. Um, when I looked inside the disconnect, the wires were totally burnt out. So, um, so I just happened to smell it. I didn't even test for anything. I mean, I, I did test, you know, later, but I, I, I smelled burnt wires. So when I used my nose to see where that smell was coming from, I smelled that the wire was burnt. My, um, my, my power, come, my line bulb was coming outside the house with the disconnect box. So I'm on the way now to go pick up a disconnect box for for this lady house that I was at. Now I went to a, uh, another house a couple, couple weeks ago, um, no cool call. And when I pulled up to the house, um, before I even put my gauges on the unit, you know, I smelled Freon. Y'all know Freon got a very distinct smell. So when I smelled Freon, it just reeked of Freon. And I saw these all the uh, uh, spots on the floor of the, uh, of the pad. And all these spots on the on the on the outdoor coil. So um, I suspected the coil bust or the oil came out, or the freon came out. I put my nitrogen tank on it, filled it up with some uh, put some pressure on that on that system, and lo and behold, all the nitrogen came out the line. Um, another another situation where I had a another call, um, no cool call, and when I went inside the uh, house, there was a bunch of oil on top of the furnace. And I know the Freon is oily. So I saw the oil on top of the furnace, and I put my fingers across the, the um, liquid line, and it, was, it wasn't sweated all the way with the, with the solder stick, with the brazen rod. So um, you gotta use your senses in this business. I'm talking about your eyes, I'm talking about your nose, I'm talking about your sense of smell, and um and your feeling what other senses are there in hearing you gotta listen to you know I, I use my ears a lot listen for compressors listen for indoor blow motor eyes obviously you need those your hands you gotta see if you can feel a leak sometimes you can't hear a leak sometimes you can't um, um hear a leak but you could put your hands across the little solder spots or the, or the little joints where you where you braise that and sometimes when you you can, you can feel the leak there, you can hear it hissing once you touch it. So in this HVAC, um, in this HVAC field, you know, you gotta be able to use your senses. If, if the TV set is blasting inside the house or the fans are roaring, I sometimes tell the customer, hey, can you cut the TV off for a minute? At least while I'm inside so I can listen for some things. Um, but yeah, you got, yeah, guys, you gotta use your senses, okay? So this is a short, quick video, uh, um, troubleshooting, rely on your tools number one but this is the main tool this right here your brain with your senses in your body okay guys till next time hope you enjoyed this video i got some more videos coming this week got some more videos coming this week but um until next time folks y'all stay safe out there get your job done and let's go ahead and um do the best that we can but use your senses your common sense we ain't talking about that we're talking about your eyes your feeling your nose your, your, uh, your hearing, um, we ain't tasting nothing on these units, all right? So I haven't got to the point where I taste anything. So all your senses have taste, okay, guys? Till next time, peace.